I would just like to say thank you to the following people for joining my Patreon. You have made it possible for me to create and share this video with everyone today. Hello everybody, welcome back. Before we start, I want to let you know that I don't make anything on my videos from YouTube. So, if you do like my content, please consider supporting me via Patreon. I have lots more new stories and videos on the way. Some of which will only be available to those who support me there. My Patreon link is below this video in the description. Also please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the bell icon if you would like to get updates on my new videos and leave a comment or ask me a question, and I promise to reply as soon as I can. Thank you and now back to the video. Today we have the third part of our story about a boy who grew up to become a girl. If you haven't listened to part 1 and 2 please check them out first before continuing. Now we follow Julie, a.k.a. David, as Natasha takes her to a beauty salon to give her a more feminine look. This story is called, How I Became a Woman, Part 3. My First Time at a Beauty Salon. I hope you like it. I always went out with Natasha on her nights off, so I was now spending two nights a week as Julie. Natasha had also taught me how to do my makeup and how to style my hair. If I wanted I could go out dressed on my own, but I never did. I preferred to go out with Natasha and the rest of the time I would just dress in my apartment by myself. One night me and Natasha were out with her friends and they told me I should apply for a job at the Paris Hotel Casino. They are always looking for new people especially good looking girls like yourself, they said. I just smiled and said I would think about it as I knew there was no way I could. The next morning, Natasha wanted me to get dressed up to go out. This was different as we always went out in the evenings. I was not worried about going out in public anymore, but I was aware that I would be very visible in the daylight hours. Anyway, I had become so comfortable as Julie and I passed very convincingly as a girl. So I was not worried and I confidently got dressed and went out with her. Natasha didn't tell me where we were going but she drove to a local shopping center. Once there I followed her into the center and then she led me to a beauty salon. I was a little nervous about this as I didn't want anyone to find out I was a boy but Natasha told me it would be fine and not to worry. She just wanted them to fix my hair up into a more feminine style. Natasha gave me a blindfold and asked me to put it on. Wear this, I want the whole thing to be a lovely surprise, she said. Then Natasha told the lady what she wanted. I put the blindfold on and sat there waiting for the process to begin. I trusted Natasha and put my faith in her entirely. The whole thing was a wonderful experience. As they shampooed my hair and massaged my scalp. It was so very relaxing. They trimmed the back, cut my bangs and then put some cream in my hair. The cream had a strong smell and I couldn't work out what it was at the time. However after a while they rinsed the cream out, conditioned and rinsed my hair. Then they started with curlers to wrap my hair up and then placed me under a hair dryer. My hair was still drying when Natasha took off my blindfold. 
Let's go over to the manicure table and don't look into any mirrors just yet, she said. So I agreed and followed her over to the manicure table. Natasha then talked me into getting acrylics. You can always take them off in a day or two if you don't like them, she said. It really was a fun experience, and after about an hour I had long beautiful red nails. They were about a half inch long just like Natasha's. I went back over to where I was getting my hair done before. I still hadn't looked into a mirror and was excited to see what my hair would look like. I sat down and they started to remove the rollers from my hair. Then a mass of curls fell down, but something was different. My hair was now blonde. OMG. I wanted to scream, but I didn't. I didn't want to cause a scene. Natasha was standing in front of me. Now David you truly are Julie, she said. She stepped to one side and I could see myself in the mirror for the first time. I could not believe how good I looked, and I truly looked nothing like a boy anymore. Then we left the salon and went back to Natasha's car. I looked over at Natasha. Thank you so much for this, it really means a lot to me, I said. Natasha smiled. Last night I got thinking about what the other girls were saying. About you working at the Paris Hotel Casino, you needing a job, and... I figured why couldn't you work where I do? I could give you a good reference, she said. She looked at me and I didn't know what to say. I wanted to say yes, but it was impossible. Natasha, I am still a guy. To get a job, I will have to give them my real name. They are not going to hire a man who dresses as a girl, I told her. Natasha was quiet and looked to be thinking about something. Then she said, I think it's about time I told you the truth. The truth about Julie. My friend from school. Thank you for listening to my story. If you like my content, please consider supporting me via my Patreon. The link is below this video in the description. Also, if you like my stories, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the bell icon if you would like to get updates on my new videos and leave a comment or ask me a question, and I promise to reply as soon as I can. Thank you and until next time. Goodbye.